Amen, amen, amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina ni Pastor John Ngaho wa Kanisa la Blessings Revival Center mji wa Kigumo County ya Kiambu. Wakati huu naja mbele zako ili niweze kukupatia neno la Mungu and so that we can be blessed and you can remain blessed. I want us to pray so that we can start uh, listening to the word of God and listening to the message of now. Father in the name of Jesus I come before you. Thank you because of this message come be with us from the beginning to the end of this summer of now oh God. Thank you Father even because of this person who is listening oh Jesus. I know the Lord Jesus you're going to bless him you're going to bless her in the name of Jesus. May you Father help me speak according to what you want your people to hear from me in the name of Jesus we do pray trusting and believing amen 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 uh god bless you wherever you are i know some of you are in the office some of you at home listening but i want us to go straight to the word of god in genesis chapter 39 and verse 2 and the bible says that when his master saw that the lord was with him and made him prosper in all the deed in all he did joseph found favor in his sight and became his personal attendant Potiphar put him in charge of his household and entrusted him with everything he owned from the time that he put Joseph in charge of his household and all he owned the Lord blessed the Egyptian's household on account of him the Lord's blessing was on everything he owned both in his house and in all his field oh my god praise Jesus that is Joseph and we are seeing that through Joseph the households of israelites were blessed i want you to remember the story of joseph joseph was sold by his brothers to go and became a slave and we are seeing joseph becoming a very blessed person we are seeing joseph getting favor from god and through the favor that he got from god he was made to become a personal assistant and potiphar made him to become in charge of his household and he was entrusted with everything that Potiphar owned and due to the favor that was with Joseph from God when Joseph was put in charge of the uh, of Potiphar's household the Lord blessed all the Egyptians household and everything that Joseph used to touch everything that Joseph used to do was blessed and therefore this house this nation of egypt uh, of of of, uh, of egyptians became blessed and this is what i want to tell you uh, this this time that through the favor of god you're going to manifest in so many things through the favor of god you're going to become victorious through the favor of god you're going to become victorious through the favor of god you're going to be a person who is going to be successful in the name of jesus The Bible says that I will make you the head and not the tail from now in Jesus mighty name. Jesus is ready to change your life. God is ready to make you stop suffering from whatever suffering that you have been going through. And I as a servant of God, I want to declare one thing that God is going to cover you with his favor. I want you to know that God is ready to bless you. God is ready to change your story and make it a story that is good. Oh my God. Oh praise God. Even if Joseph was sold as a slave to go and suffer all his life, God made him prosperous. God also made sure that he enjoyed what his master was enjoying. I want you to look at Joseph. When Joseph was sold as a slave, later on God made sure that Joseph was full of favor and whatever his master was enjoying, be it food, be it good drinks, this person was enjoying all that he was uh, all that was being enjoyed by his master and that is Potiphar. I want to speak to you now and I want to declare that even if the devil had planned evil about you, God is going to give you victory in the name of Jesus. It does not matter what your enemies had planned. God is breaking all evil plans and he is renewing your blessings to double double portion in the name of Jesus maybe you have been sick i want to declare as a servant of god through the power that has been bestowed in me i want to be 
declare that the sickness that has been disturbing you, I declare you are healing now in Jesus' mighty name. You have been subjected to high poverty. I declare that you are going to get wealthy from now in Jesus' mighty name. You have been rejected in your marriage. Your partner has rejected you. I declare clear that your marriage shall regain glory in Jesus mighty name from now. You have been fired from one job to another. I want to declare from now onwards that you are going to regain your job. You have been starting a business and closing businesses without knowing the reason as to why you are closing businesses. I declare breakthrough in your current business in the name of Jesus. People have been dying abnormally in your lineage and you want who is next now maybe you are asking yourself maybe I'm going to be the next person to die I want to declare clear that all the demonic attacks that have been attacking people in your lineage, lineage I want to declare all those demonic attacks defeated in the name of Jesus oh hallelujah in the name of Jesus you shall live long from now in the name of Jesus. You are saying, Lord, heal me now. I declare your healing now. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't cry anymore. Jesus have done it for you from now. Victory is your portion in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that whatever is impossible to man, to God, it's possible. This is Luke 18 verse 27. Whatever is impossible to man, to God, it's possible. I declare that even if the witches said you won't make it, you shall make it from now in Jesus' mighty name. You shall be delivered from all what the witches said about you. In the name of Jesus, healing is your portion now. In the name of Jesus, receive your blessings now. Enjoy your life from now. In the name of Jesus, enjoy your life from now. In the name of Jesus, I declare all the problems that have been disturbing you, all bad things that have been following you, may they come come to an end from now in the name of Jesus receive mighty blessings receive mighty blessings in Jesus mighty name may God bless you wherever you are may God bless you may you continue receiving favor from God may you continue receiving favor from men maybe people at your job are acting against you. I declare victory over your job in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare favor in your job in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Maybe if you want to reach me, you can call me through the number 0715619700. At the same time, if you want to visit me, you can come to Dika Town. Call that number and I'll tell you where we shall meet and I know that God shall change your life from now. I I want you to increase your faith in the name of Jesus. I want you to uplift your faith and I know that whatever has been disturbing you, it is start defeated now in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God do you favor. Maybe you are there. You're listening to this someone. I request one thing. Share this prayer to other people. Let somebody else be blessed. Let somebody else receive favor in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Pastor John Gaho of uh, Blessings Revival Center Church Kegumo Kiambu County reach me through the number and I know that we are going to pray together Shalom, Shalom, Shalom